Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Huawei mobile Wi-Fi router. I just want to interrupt the video really quickly. I just want to explain the two types of routers that are on the market. They are unlocked and they are locked ones, right? What this basically means is one of them is locked to a specific network provider, which means you can only use that router with that specific network. And then the unlocked ones is you can use anything, any network provider in them, doesn't matter what. But particularly the cheaper ones are the network locked ones because they only can be used on that particular network. And the unlocked ones are a little bit more expensive because you can use them on any network. But I prefer you to get the network unlocked ones just because, you know, maybe you want to test out another provider and you just have to buy a whole new device if you did get the locked one. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. The reason why I bought this device is because I have an iPad and I have another tablet as well, also a laptop in front of me, that require Wi-Fi. They're just Wi-Fi based devices and you're gonna need one of these to take on the go if you're gonna be using these devices as well. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing of this router and just I'm just gonna give you the model code. It's model E double five seven six dash six or six and the color is white right so inside the box you're gonna see the router you're gonna see a quick start guide and you're gonna see also the battery so let's just see right here's the router itself pretty plain doesn't have the screen as my other router which is disappointing but it, it is what it is okay let's just leave that aside quick start guide you're gonna get a removable battery. So this router is gonna last way longer than my other one because I'm just gonna have to buy one of these batteries and just pop it in. So that's nice. And you also get a small USB cable. Now, why they provided you this USB cable is because you can use this uh, router to plug in to a, let's say a device like this. This is a laptop. Or, you, or even if you have a desktop. Okay. So the router itself, it's uh, pretty plain. It's got two indicator lights in the front. Okay, one is for battery and one is for signal. Nothing too special about it. And then if we take a look at the top, is your power button right here. And then your USB charging. And then let's open it. Back cover. Then over here, right? I'm just going to show you. They got, see this IP address. Now, if you type this on your web browser, like Chrome, Safari, whatever Internet Explorer you use, you must type in this code, and then the password is admin. That's a default password. And also there's a username. No. No, they'll just ask you for the password. I don't think there's any username. I'll be showing you shortly what you can do in the settings. You can basically configure your router SSID, which is a router name you see on your devices when connecting to. You can also change the password. Let's just install our SIM card, which is fairly easy. So if you've got one of these SIM cards, right, all you have to do is just pop them out. It's a normal big SIM. They do have micro and nano. So mostly devices like your phones and stuff will have the nano. That's why you can just easily pop it out, which is nice. Before days, I used to take a scissors and like cut, cut the SIM card to size just to fit in my device. Or I used to pay a guy which had like a special machine to do it. But nowadays you just get it from your network provider. So props to them. So all you have to do is just install your SIM card just like that. And it'll just stay there. Then next, you're gonna put your battery and your cover, and this way, and it just snaps in. Once you hear the click, the, yeah, just need to check around it, and your device is just ready to go. Now all you have to do is just hold the power button until you see the two lights, right? It just takes about maybe 10 to 15 seconds to start up. So for signal now, it's showing red, but now it just picked up, so now it's green. So now we're good to go to connect to it. 
Okay, in this part, I'm going to be showing you how to connect to your Huawei router. It's very simple. All you have to do is, right, go into your Wi Fi. And it should pick up here. But I already connected to it, so um, I already skipped one part. But you basically go into your Wi Fi settings, enter its password, and you're good to go. But let's say, for some reason, you don't have Wi-Fi capabilities on your device. Like, your laptop or desktop doesn't have a Wi-Fi adapter. I'm just going to take out my adapter right now. And there we go. Now we got no internet. And I've tried connecting to the internet, okay? Like, um, I've tried putting on the Wi-Fi, but look, if you don't have the adapter, Wi-Fi is just not going to work. So we're going to transform our... Wi-Fi router to a modem. Remember those modem things that you normally used to plug into your to your port over here and it used to provide you internet access. We're gonna do the same thing over here just with a cable. Right? Think of it as an OTG gizmo. Okay. So all you have to do is take your cable, just plug it into both devices. Very simple step. Once you have done that, you're going to go to your file explorer, right? And you're going to go to this PC. Come on, not now. You're going to go to your file explorer, you're going to go to this PC. And it should pop up here as Huawei Mobile Services. They should have an application here. And you click the application, press install, and if everything goes right. Okay, so if you have installed your software that it normally preloads into your device. It should look like this. Mobile Broadband HL Service. And then the little internet icon will pick up as you got a plugged in like Ethernet connection. Right. And I'm just going to show you in settings how it looks. Right. That's what it should pop up as. So now you are connected to the internet without Wi-Fi. So I do like that functionality in this device. Now we're going to be configuring our mobile Wi-Fi router, which is simple. All you have to do is open your web browser, right, and enter the following IP, 192.168.8.1. Now where did I get this IP? From the device itself. If you take out the back cover, take out the battery, write down the IP address, Right, that's the IP address that it'll show. It'll bring you to this page. And you'll think now, it says device login password. But I didn't set a password. The default password for this is admin. No caps, no nothing. Just a simple word, admin. But since I already configured this device pre-setup, right? I'm just going to put in my password that I did set. Okay, and we're in. So after you logged into your router's IP address, right, every time you log in, you're going to see the home page. And the home page tells you a bunch of different things. It tells you the signal strength, the network traffic, whether your device is charging or not, what gigahertz Wi-Fi is running, and how many devices are connected to it. Each of these tabs you see on top here have subsections. So we're just going to quickly browse through it and not to waste any time. Now, network settings... You can put your mobile data off. You can also put data roaming on. Default, it's off, right? You can also uh, put this feature off, auto select network, and put manual mode on to manually find the correct network provider that the SIM card you put in is for, right? Now, there's also Wi-Fi extender. Now, what this basically means, if you put it on, right, you can use this device to boost the signal of another Wi-Fi or router device that you do have. So if you have a router in another room and it's picking up poorly in this room, you can use this device to extend that signal so it basically uh, broadcasts it way more better in this room than it did before. Now in Wi-Fi settings, you're going to see your basics up, right? You, uh, Wi-Fi basic settings, you can change the Wi-Fi name. You can put anything you want over here. 
can also change the security mode. You can leave it on open or WEP. The default is WPA2, right? I would just prefer using the default security mode. And then you can put any password you like over here and just press save and then it'll restart your router. Now in devices, you're gonna see what devices are connected to your device previously or even what is still connected. So you can see my desktop is connected through LAN. So why it's saying LAN is because I do have it connected through a USB cable. And then one Wi-Fi device connected 2.4 gigahertz, which is my iPad at the current moment. Then these are just the previous devices I've connected or have connected in the past. Then in tools, you're going to see SMS conversation, SMS. So you're just going to basically see your SMSs that you receive from your network provider. Okay, moving on to advanced. There's also updates. I just leave this thing on. So if it does have an update one of the years, it can do so by itself. I don't even have to do anything. Then there's also stuff like your firewall. They have IP filter, virtual server, DMZ settings, NAT settings. Then you, when you go to your system settings, okay, your device information, you're just gonna see stuff like your IMEI number, stuff like that. You can also restart or reset the router in the settings over here. You can also press the one-click check just to do like a little service. There's modify password. So what this means, the modify password is uh, you're actually changing the password of the login screen. You know, when you put your IP address, like the 192.168.8.1, you want to modify that password. So the default is admin. So you're going to put the admin and then put in your new password. So no one can mess around with your Wi-Fi or mess with your configurations. Then you can go to system settings. Uh, nothing much here, basically. Just your basic simple stuff.